Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Saturday visiting um, visiting United Arab Emirates President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Presidential spokesperson Councillor Ahmed Fahmi said the visit comes within the continuous consultations between two, between the two brotherly nations on different files of mutual concern. On top of which is the Israeli genocide war in Gaza and how to guarantee the flow of humanitarian aid to the Palestinian enclave. Fahmi also highlighted that the two Arab leaders discussed ways of boosting distinguished bilateral ties in various domains. Upon the directives of the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the Armed Forces continued airdropping tons of humanitarian and relief aid to the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. The move comes as Egypt has joined an international coalition to airdrop aid to the Strip after ground aid operations faced many obstacles from the Israeli occupation military, increasing the threat of famine on Palestinian civilians. Egypt also continued its efforts in coordination with international and regional partners to assess more aid to the Strip via its Rafah crossing. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres stood near a long line of waiting trucks and declared it was time to truly flood Gaza with life-saving aid, calling the starvation inside the enclave a moral outrage. Here are more details. A visit to the Rafah crossing on Saturday, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said a long line of blocked relief trucks on Egypt's side of the border with the Gaza Strip where people face starvation is a moral outrage. He stressed that it was time for Israel to give an ironclad commitment for unfettered access to humanitarian goods throughout Gaza and called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire and the release of hostages. In comments made in front of the gate of the Rafah crossing, an entry point for aid, he said that the UN would continue to work with Egypt to streamline the flow of aid into Gaza. The visit by Guterres comes as Israel faces global pressure to allow more humanitarian aid into Gaza, which has been devastated by more than five months of Israeli genocide war. In remarks made later to reporters, Guterres said, that the international appeals against an Israeli ground operation in Rafah city on the Gazan side of the border where a majority of Gaza's 2.3 million residents are sheltering. He questioned Israeli plans to relocate civilians ahead of an curtain. As hopes for a truce in Gaza during the holy month of Ramadan have faded and humanitarian situation has become more desperate, the United States and other countries have sought to use airdrops and ships to deliver aid. But humanitarians say only about one-fifth of the required amount of supplies has been entering Gaza and that the only way to meet needs is to rapidly accelerate deliveries by road. Before his stop at the border, where he met UN humanitarian workers, Guterres landed in Al Arish in North Sinai, where much of the international relief for Gaza is delivered and stockpiled. More than 32,000 people have been killed by Israeli military campaign in Gaza, many of them women, children and minors. This came at the Health Ministry in Gaza.